Welcome back everyone, my name is Sack, and today we're continuing our adventure in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. This is episode two. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to complete all of the trouble centers for chapter one. Which means we're actually going to be leaving Petal Meadows. You have to make it to Petal Meadows in order to unlock these trouble centers. Otherwise, I would have done them earlier. But I think there's like six or seven that we unlock, so I'd like to get them out of the way. the heck are you? I'm a nice guy, and Garf needs a key. I do. Alright, Garf. Wait. What's interesting is I'm fairly certain Garf is not the first trouble that you would have to do in the uh, legacy version of this game. Now how Garf managed to get up on top of the roof of this building, I don't know what he was doing over there. Actually no he didn't make it on the roof. He made it over here, but still, I don't, I don't know why, why he would have gone over there. Right, we are at 200 coins. I don't think there's anything of value in here. All right, one trouble down. I think five to go. Yeah. Safe delivery. I know where you are. You're behind the alleyway in t uh, Roadport Square. Yeah.
I'm ferrying drugs. <laughs> I love my Mario Kids games. Crack delivery. Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why would you do that? Hmm. The fact that he is trying to dispose of it has me thinking this is like some type of carcass in there. Maybe it's a dead Goomba in that box. already solved 60 coins worth of troubles. The early game troubles aren't a bad source of income, considering enemies don't drop many coins at this stage of the game. It allows you to buy Jump Man and Hammer of Man very early. I think they're 180 coins each, so you need 360 coins, which we'll definitely have by the time we finish Chapter 1. He's right outside the trouble center. I think it's 1085. Yeah, 1085. I still remember it. Or, or 1083. Sorry, 1083. <laughs> Tasty Tonic's only three coins. I love the little gesture that Mario gives. Why can't he just go do that himself? Is he like banned from the store or something? Is he like plankton? Fr from the chum bucket? Through. Oh, the credit card fraud. Yes! I'm going to get that bandit in trouble. Not you. You're, you're probably guilty of something as well, but the bandit I'm looking for is behind that fake wall. But first, I have to speak with Gunther. We're going to secure his justice <laughs> thanks man for explaining that Tell me where they go. Ah, he's not asking me anything. Is he in here? No, oh, this is just this guy.
can't remember if he's back here. No. Alright, then he must be over at the uh, port. I know he goes to the port. Get him out of here. Take him away. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> oh my. I love solving troubles. The only thing I will say, I'm a this is a little bit excessively critical of me. I'm not a fan of them having all of these quests start from one location. I kind of like the idea of you just talking to these people. You know, you walking up to them and talking to them, and then they give you a side quest. It actually encourages the player to talk to the NPCs, rather than having meaningless dialogue that doesn't lead to any quests or rewards. I don't have a problem with there being a trouble board. Like, especially for stuff like the fraudster, like mercenary work. But, uh, most of these side quests, I think it would actually make, it actually make more sense if you just spoke directly to the NPC, cut out the middleman. Electroshock therapy, okay. Here we go. Can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember. Can't. I mean, yeah, if you want to, I mean, if you can carry 15 items at once, you have to buy 15 of those, travel to Petalburg, and sell 15. Um, you could store them. Roadport of the docks. Yeah, and I can just bring them. I should have a mushroom. So, I'll just give him that. Um, you could store... I, I can't remember how much you can store in the shop. But, I mean, even still, you s would have to travel back and forth between Roadport and Petal Meadows at two coins per purchase. There are much faster ways to earn money in this game. Still an interesting little fact that you can actually flip prices in this game. You're the guy that I have to talk to, right? I did.
Alright, so that is all of the troubles for post prologue. I didn't take too long. I think this has only been going on for about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, let me check uh, the badges that they have for sale. If they have uh, Last Stand on sale, I'm going to buy that. Ah, they do. How many coins do I have left? 246. So I need 114 more. And I'll be able to afford both Jumpman and Hammerman. I love those rays. That's really cool. I could have gone there. <laughs> Yeah, they, they didn't shake. I, I'm pretty sure they didn't shake in the original. They just moved. Alright. <laughs> now we're going to pedal Meadows for real. Alright, well, that's going to conclude this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in the next one.